What's up, I'm TK. Welcome to the new Achieve You podcast. <laughs> Let me try that again. What's up, I'm TK. Welcome to the new Achieve You podcast. Let's go. Yeah. Somebody ask a question, bro. <laughs> As you guys know, yes, we're like you said, we're back with another podcast featuring my boy TK. Welcome to TV, bro. Even though you've been on here a few times already. Yeah, but I've never been on a podcast. All right, for those of you who don't know who TK is, you want to explain this? Yeah, um, I just graduated from Pine Forest High School. I got picked in the third round by the Rangers, and I'm going to be a professional baseball player. My boy is a professional baseball player right after high school, man. So Austin told me that happens pretty often. Nah, it really don't, bro. Um, <laughs> no, I, was, I was saying like, no, he said the MLB does it pretty often. It's like a normal thing. A high school player. Is yeah, there's normal. there's probably like forty high school picks this year. For real? Forty? Mm-hmm. Still, that's forty out of like how many, bro? I don't know. There's probably like a lot. It's pretty crazy. I don't know, bro. Crazy. I wanted to put him on a podcast because we used to like work out and stuff. Before school and all that. Just a bro, bro. Yeah, like, he's just a bro. But also, we noticed that he's separating himself from everybody else. And, like, it really shows now. Like, w- what happened to you that? You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're talking about today. You know, kind of how he got... How he became to a position where he would get drafted. And also some other shit. Like, isn't your last dog going to be, like, totally different from, like, high school? Like, now you're just going to be a baseball dude. Yeah. Oh, completely. Yeah, like... High school was like, I kind of had to try to balance everything, like like uh, nutrition, school, studies, and baseball, and, and lifting and all that. Like there was like a bunch of different things that I had to balance to like maintain good grades and, and try to stay like, and try to stay healthy and, and work out and all that. And you know, a lot of times we'd work out in the mornings cause that was like the only time we could do it. So I'd have the afternoons to do stuff and like y'all That's had true. stuff to do in the afternoons so too, so. But now, like, that it's just professional baseball, like, all my nutrition is taken care of. Like, they're going to make sure I have the right meals to eat. All, like, I don't have to worry about school anymore, which is nice as hell. Cause That's I, true, bro. I mean, I, I like school, but I didn't, I, like, I didn't, I enjoyed going. But, like, once senior year came around, bro, I was just like, I don't like this, bro. I don't really like school. Now it's just, like, all I have to do is wake up, work out, throw, go to the field, and just basically just grow my ability to play baseball. Practice in high school, like, was after school until, like, 6 o'clock. But that was because – and I had to be there because I was a, I was a hitter. I was I played the outfield and I pitched. But now that I'm just a pitcher, like, all I'll have to do is go and throw, and that's it. Like, I could be – I could be, have practices that are, like, an hour and a half long. I mean, some might be, like, two or three hours. But, like, if I'm really trying to learn something, if I'm trying to develop a new pitch or something like that, then it could be, like, three hours long. But there's some days where I'll go to practice and I'll be there for, like, an hour tops. So, you know this, or were you told this? I'm, I just know this. You like a pitcher, that? that's what that's what a pitcher's life is. Like once he's once he doesn't hit, like a hitter will have to go and do fielding practice, hitting practice. He'll have to. I mean, there's so much more a hitter has, to, like a position player has to do. But for a pitcher only, all he's got to do is worry about throwing. So I mean, I'll go throw a bullpen or go long toss or something like that, and then I'll be done. So, so it's gonna be really. It's gonna be in Arizona. Yeah. Be Bro, when are you going there? Uh, I'm pretty sure I leave like early to mid August, and I'll be there for probably like three or four months. Like I, I was talking to the the Rangers nutritionist the other day, and they said they're gonna basically like, like there's a lot of stuff that goes into like developing a, a rookie. So like basically the the first thing, I mean I'm already like I've already got my training program that I'm gonna do from now until then. But like once I get there, I'll get introduced to all the coaches, and then like right away I'll just start training like under under supervision of them and I'll have like the nutritionist that's gonna like do cooking classes with me so I'll learn how to really like really cook Yo. and that, that's I'm actually excited. I'm really excited about that cause like I can't cook right now at all bro I can cook some eggs but like that's it <laughs> oh me bro all these <laughs> french toast <laughs> it's protein french toast but french toast bro so alright bro so I feel like the best way to start well I mean we already started but the best way to start easing into the conversation and stuff it's kind of explaining like explain the process of how you got there like how, how you even got there being drafted pretty much yeah so like 
it kind of started, I mean, I've always had like a passion, passion for baseball and I've always loved it. And I've always like, as far as like on the on field type, you know, like development and training and stuff, I've always done that. Like ever since I was like nine years old, my dad started doing drills with me. And that's when like, and like, I've kind of always had like a, a, like a knack for pitching. Like I've always been, I've always had the ability to do it. Not much has changed since, since I was like nine years old and I started, but like, when I really found the, I like after freshman years, when I really found the weight room, and that's when I realized how important it was that, that like the training off the field is, is really like, there's like 50% of training is done on the field. And then like, if you wanna, if you wanna make that training that you do on the field, like if you wanna make the game easier, smoother, better, you wanna be more powerful and stuff like that, then you gotta do, you gotta use the weight room a lot more. So like after sophomore year is when I, was when I like realized that I need to start working out and training and stuff like that. So that's kind of when I, and I, most of the time I would do it after school. Like I didn't wake up early back then. <laughs> but like, who does? Junior year, like I went, like I went crazy. Like I, I basically, I started, like I got, one of my buddies suggested that I start working out at Legendary and like in the mornings with Reggie. Oh, that's and, when you started? Yeah. Oh, I remember, I completely forgot about working out there. <laughs> yeah, that was a while. It feels like forever ago. But we all used to go there too, bro. Yeah. And so that's when I started doing that before school. And like that, I made a lot of, like I made huge strength gains my junior year. And it showed on the field because I went from throwing like 85 to like 93, like in like probably like 11 months, maybe, maybe less. So that's when, that's when that kind of happened. Waking up in the morning, like at five in the morning to work out is a really good way to separate yourself from others. And y'all, like y'all understand that too, because y'all do it. Y'all probably do it more than I do to be honest, like y'all used to. Cause I, sometimes y'all would work out. I'd be like, nah, I'm just gonna sleep. <laughs> oh yeah, he, bro, I used to be the, the main one to be like, bro, let's fucking go. That was <laughs> yeah. right. And then all of a sudden, when we started going to his house, he'd be like, this shit won't <laughs> My bed's so warm, bro. I mean, he kind of used to be obligated to pick us up a little bit. Yeah. I think that's why he was more. What is it in you that made it to where he didn't want to do things like smoke and go to parties and drink? Like what in you decided that he just didn't? I mean, there's kind of always been like a like something in me that kind of just knows that I like I I I'm, I deserve better than that. Like parties and stuff. Like don't get me wrong. Like that's the high school experience, and some kids do that, and they and they love it. Like they wouldn't trade that for the world. But like that just wasn't for me. Like I just wanted to, I wanted to be like greater than that. Like there's there's always been a drive in me to to do better for myself, and like I feel like I wouldn't have I wouldn't have been, you know, really maximizing my my like my athletic ability if I, if I was going to parties and, and there's good, there's good athletes that go to parties and stuff like that too. But like, for me, it's like there, I feel like I, I would have been leaving something behind. Like I would have had regret if I went to parties and I may not be where I am right now if I went to parties and smoked and drank and all that. So, like years from now, like if I, and I honestly believe like if, if, if I do the right things and I work, like I keep, I keep doing what I've been doing. I think I can make it to the bigs, like for real. Like I could make it and make a lot of money, <laughs> like a lot of money. But like, and people are just like, there's a lot of people that were saying like congrats and stuff. And I appreciate all the support and all the congratulations and stuff like that. But like a lot of people don't realize what, can, what went on behind the scenes. Like a lot of people don't realize what it took, like not going to parties and not drinking and not smoking or anything like that. Like staying disciplined to myself like hold myself to higher standards. I like knowing that everybody else is doing like the normal thing, like yeah, quote unquote you're, normal, you're, and you're just like, you're doing your own, like you're completely, exactly, bro. yeah, you're separating it's yourself just, from like the crowd. That's what you're doing. Bro, I bought some $60 shorts. That was my last night and then we did. Are they chubbies? <laughs> nah, bro, those are nasty. They're, you know, 10,000 that brand? Mm -mm. I don't know. Are they, I think they're $60, they must be nice. Yeah, yeah but I, Literally, to literally, literally, literally need shorts. <laughs> Every two days, bro. I wash them all the time, bro. <laughs> Anyways, bro. I want to add on to that when he's talking about partying and stuff. It's not that you have to not do that. It's just, I speak for him, kind of, but or for all of us, really, bro. Um, I just not like you have to do that in order to become successful. It's more of like you just feel something, then you gotta do it. You know, you. you you just feel like shit if you do it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, people are like, uh, this guy made it without, while he went to parties and stuff. I mean, that's them. Like, when we say something like that, it's not like we're telling you, oh, you're not going to make it because you do that. It's just what we do, you know what I'm saying? Like, things, like, just things that separate us. Yeah. And, like, to add on to that, it's like, 
and it's not like we're bashing going to parties either. Like people will do that. Like I, I know people that are good good athletes and they go to parties all the time. And there's there's definitely stories of people that have made it in their sport or whatever they're trying to like their business or whatever, like trying to grow like a business, like that have been to parties and have done like that whole scene. But like for some people it's just like it's just not part of their path. Like they like for me, it's just like at a young age, I just realized like <laughs> at a young age, I just realized that wasn't going to be part of my path. And if I wanted to really do it, then I was then I wanted to stay away from that. Okay, bro, I feel that. Yo, it's kind of it's almost like discipline and uh, willpower. And something I I kind of just thought of it like discipline is never even going to the party, and willpower is forcing yourself not to go to another one. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Cause like like smoking, you start, you know, like, I'm not gonna get addicted, but either way, it's it's ten times easier just to do it a second time because yeah. you've already done it. I feel like that's part of it for me, like just knowing that I've never done it, it's easier not to do it because I don't even know what it's like. Yeah, that's that. Just fuck with that. All right, dude, see you fucking. So man, we mentioned that we used to work out at like five. Was it? Yeah, we would work out at five in the morning with Kike, Bryce, Austin, and me. Sometimes Trent. Oh shit! <laughs> we did pick up Trent. Almost never though. That's great. Almost never. But that was like when I look back on that, it's like the times that I'm like, that was awesome, bro. Yeah, those were fun times. For me, especially when it was like 30 degrees outside, <laughs> and we would run like a mile <laughs> Just, to warm up. Yeah. <laughs> like warm up. Bro. In like I mean, twenty, I would have like sweatpants on, some shorts under that, some tights yeah. under that, and I'd have like a hoodie, a long sleeve, and I'd still be cold after running a mile. Fast. Bro, I'd be praying like I was running in the mile. <laughs> I swear I'd be like, oh my god. Bro, I don't know about y'all, but you, like, let's see, regular ass high school days, those are like the days where you look back and you realize those are the days. But going to Bryce House at like five a.m., it already felt like how that reminiscing feeling felt, yeah. and at least to me. Like, it already felt like that. I, mean, I guess that's why I flew it so much. This day, it was me, TK, Austin, and Bryce. We were at Bryce's house. But we went to Bryce's house, and then we were always talking about how woman's bed is, bro. And then one time we were on a sprint. It was like 40 meters, I think. It was yeah. like 100 yards. 100? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it was like 20 yards. I swear you're running a mailbox to another mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> it felt really long to me. <laughs> Alright, well, we were spring. It was like 20 degrees outside. And I used to always be like, get out of your comfort zone and like take off all my clothes. So I was in my underwear. You still had underwear on though. You did yeah, take yeah, off all my clothes. Underwear, yeah. We're not like that. But I was in my underwear. I was, <laughs> I was doing a sprint. I was racing Austin that day. <laughs> I was, I was down. No, you, you were running like, by yourself. I think you were just running, bro. Oh, you were the guy. <laughs> Me and Austin like, were down at the to, end. Like, yeah. And then <laughs> I was running, and then he just starts busting out laughing. Bro. I didn't know why. And then I looked down, my wings were flopping around. <laughs> that was funny, bro. Every it was like not at first, but like towards like the end of working out at Bryce's, we'd like y'all would have to go knock on Bryce's door. Or on his window to like wake him up because he wouldn't even be up. Yeah, that's true. And then like, <laughs> I remember He'd one be morning. He'd pissed when you knock on him. Yeah. No, bro, the, bro, the day before, like, yo, if I'm like, oh, I'm knocking my window, bro. And I knock on his window, he'd be pissed, bro. <laughs> remember one morning we were there and like me and you went into his room to try to wake him <laughs> yeah. up and we both ended up sleeping on the ground. Did you really? Yes. <laughs> there was also, remember the one morning we went in there? We did like, we did like 20 minute workout. Like we just did, we basically did nothing. And then we went into Bryce's room and meditated. <laughs> <laughs> like Bryce was on his bed and us three were just like on the floor. <laughs> and we just like, we made it. That was the first time I ever meditated. And I came back home that day and like meditated, but I just fell asleep. I was late to school. <laughs> I remember Bryce's first time meditating. I thought he was gonna say some bullshit, but he he like woke up and said, "Bro, that was so calm." Bro, that right shit now. was funny, bro. High school was so fun, bro. I that was senior year was fun. Yeah, it's fun. But we're in Mr. Cribb's office. He, he was telling us how he's never been to a party. He never drank either, all right. All right, well, yeah, he never drank. He was talking about all that. That was like first time. That was when I was like, "Damn, bro!" Like. 
That's why I really like this one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't really like that until that. I was like, bro, that's For real? That's fine. Yeah. And then Jerry was telling me how your dad was trying to make you go to a party. Yeah, after the district championship, yeah. our junior year, my dad was like, bro, go to the party. Like, I don't know. I went and grabbed some food and came home. To me, it's almost like a pride thing to not go. Like also, I mean, parties just don't seem that fun to me. Like, I don't even like being around that many people. Me too, bro. Exactly. But like, also, yeah. he hates me around Trump. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's facts, bro. I thought your dad probably get late when he goes to party. Yeah, my dad, my dad likes to party. <laughs> you gave me, like, kiwi furrows. <laughs> Wait, really? Bro? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Oh, For what? Shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Hey, we're still recording, dickhead. I think something really cool would be explain like your daily like everything you your daily routine pretty much. Yeah. You know? For like yeah. For like whenever whenever you go from high school into when you're like training. You know what I'm saying? Alright, yeah. So my junior year my routine was like really good. Like I had it down to like a science. So I'd wake up I'd wake up at like 4.30. I'd usually have like a pop tart or something for breakfast. I'd be at legendary by like five fifteen. I grab, I'd have me a bang, bro. That was when I drank bangs all the time. And I'd have me a bang, and I'd work out. We'd be done at like 7, 7, 7 15. Take a shower there. I'd be at school like an hour or so early, and I'd just chill in my car. But like like on game days, like at like the five minutes before the bell rang, I'd read like a, a certain Bible verse or something like that. Like 100, Psalm 108, because there's 108. 108 laces on a baseball. And then we go to school. We go down to the field, or me and Jason would go down to the field after, and we throw. And then me and John would hit, and then that would be it. Like I'd come home, and just do it again the next day. Senior year, I had that same routine for a little bit when I was still working out with Reggie, but then I kind of part like split ways with Reggie because it was just too expensive, and I, I felt like he wasn't really give like giving us good workouts anymore. And then we had like that. Uh, Anyways, <laughs> for a while it was like us working out in the morning, yeah. and then I'd go down to the field after, like we'd, we'd work out, and then I'd come back here, and that was when I kind of started getting serious about nutrition. So I'd come back, cook some breakfast for myself, and then like... What'd you cook, bro? Eggs? Eggs. Scrambled, yeah, egg, so egg, always... scrambled eggs and a <laughs> piece of toast with some peanut butter on it. So oh, yeah. like, and sometimes I'd have a glass of chocolate milk, because chocolate milk just be good. But can you know your schedule for like your ranges? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so well, I, I kind of know what it's going to be like when uh, when I do get to. So, like, eventually I'll end up in Arizona, like, sometime in August, which is where they do their instructional league, which is kind of like where they send their new prospects and, like, kind of like all their prospects, which is like their minor leaguers, um, come together for instructional league. And, like, they train there and they get, like, instruction on, like, how to, you know, get better at their at their position or whatever. So like for me, it's probably gonna be, like I'll wake up in the morning. I'm assuming it'll be pretty early. I, I don't know, probably like 6.30, like anywhere between five and seven, I'll have to be up. Yeah. And then um, we'll go lift and then I'll go, I'll probably have like breakfast and then I'll go to the field. I'll probably throw for a little bit, get my instruction or like, it'll be like a, a long toss on a flat ground or like a catch day or I'll go to the bullpen, like the pitching lab, and I'll work on like pitch design or something like that. And then um, I'll have like, I'll probably be done with that around lunchtime, get some lunch, and then I'll have the rest of the day to kind of just do what they need to do. Like it'll be probably sometime during that day, I'll have like a cooking class with the nutritionist or like I'll have a class with like the, the strength guy to go over new plans or something like that. So it's really just designed, it's gonna be geared toward maximizing my nutrition my strength my my throwing basically just becoming a professional baseball player it's, it's basically like school but for baseball but for baseball so it's literally my dream that's <laughs> so dope how hyped are you for that i'm ex i'm really excited like i i'm yeah that sounds awesome nice. every time we do a podcast before before it ends you give whatever you want to say to the camera i'll hold the camera in front of you it's just gonna be you just, just I was actually want. about to say that, bro. Yeah. Are you cool with that? Yeah. They're awesome, bro. Awesome. For any of y'all kids out there that have really big dreams, like never stop dreaming at all. Because I mean, I, I I'll be I'll be the first to tell you that it's possible. Like when I was growing up, I never thought that I would I was gonna be. You know, I thought I was hopefully gonna play college baseball, but. I just got drafted and it just shows that, you know, dreams do come true if you're willing to work for them. So never stop dreaming and work your tail off.